what to do it's your boy young swag we back in it again with another reaction video so today we're gonna be reacting to nba young boy untouchable official lyric and meaning so we're gonna basically re be reacting to the um meaning behind the lyrics so yeah man i seen this video so i decided to hop on it as soon as possible because it only came out like about five hours ago so i'm probably like one of the few people that did a reaction to it already because like it's early like it's only like this video only been out for like five hours so like not a lot of people done a reaction to it so i just wanted to hop on this and make a reaction to it so yeah man without further ado let's get it I just knew at one point it wasn't no stopping me. You hear me? I, like, I knew that this moment was going to come, nigga. Also, guys, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to go hit that subscribe button. You see what I'm saying? Roll to 1K subs. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. We stay litty in this channel. Daily reaction. So y'all already know what to do. And drop a thumbs up. Y'all already know what it is. Okay? Let's keep on watching this video. Put me right here with you. Untouchable was the last song I recorded going in, and the first one I recorded coming up. <laughs> During that time in jail, um, Fee played it. Fee had my baby mama play it to me on the phone, and I had to think about. It. I'm like, oh, this shit crazy. I forgot all about this song. You hear me? When I came home, that was the song that they wanted me to release. So I put the second verse on that. It was on some. Second verse on some upgraded shit on some not at this point type shit. I remember I wanted for the quit so many times, but I knew this moment would come. Now it's my time. I used to really doubt myself. Like I used to think this shit wasn't gonna happen. I literally wanted to quit, and there been times that I quit for a short period of time, like a week, and be like, you know what? Like, I gotta stop back on this shit, like, cause this what people fuck with me for. I gotta make up for all them nights that my mama cried. I'm going in, I'm putting everything on the line. I wasn't the best son. Yeah, man, I actually saw my mama cry one time. Once. She a strong woman, but I actually saw her cry, so I cry one time. You know, for me to see that, I knew I had hurt her. So basically, shit, I gotta make up for all them nights. Dropped out of school to chase my dream. I had something for the proof. I put my all into this shit, man. I can't fucking lose. Man, I dropped out of school in the night. Bruh, he's talking about some real life shit, bro. He's talking about some real life shit. That's all I gotta say. Let's keep on hearing this shit. I passed the eighth grade. I dropped out because that's when my mind went in. My mind went in that shit. Matter of fact, I ain't even had the clothes and the fucking shoes. I ain't feel comfortable going to school. Yeah, man, so fuck school. But you stay in school, though. You stay in school because it's the best option for you. They smile up in my face, but they don't know what I've been through. Whole lot of nights I went to sleep and I ain't had no food. Thanks to my mom and my grandfather, I always had a roof over my head. We always had fucking water, you know what I mean? But when you look in the refrigerator, it's tough in that bitch. All the money go to bills, man. I ain't shit in the house. Man, she was gutter like Lily. But now I'm up and I'm just thinking about my next move. Gotta keep my head above water, gotta make it through. I do this shit for my mom and my little brother too. I ain't no more problems now, I might as well go back to school. I fucks, I fucks with this, with his song, too, like, un, like Untouchable. It's like, a, a, bro, that song is just talking to some real shit, bro. I fucks with the song, too. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, um, I guess I don't act like a big brother. I guess a man figure towards him. I don't know father figure. Man. Like, that's, that's one of the reasons I want to go back to school, get my uh, his high school diploma. So he feel like, you know, that shit. Yeah, my brother did that. I actually take out my steps anyway. This nigga just got kicked. He just got me kicked out my condo for stealing somebody's fucking bike, man. This nigga tripping. Gotta maintain stay on my grind. No, I can't be no fool. No, I can't slip. No, I can't fumble. Gotta stick and move. Get out BR move to LA where I ain't gotta keep a tool. Surprised, but I knew my dreams coming true. Shit, just life lessons, the challenges, the everyday life in any fucking state made me who I am. Standing up, being strong, my situations I went through made me who I am. But BR did make a part of me but honestly that part of me that it made i don't want that shit no more me told me i gotta get out of Rich because i was gonna die like because he know he experienced this shit before he was young boy when he 
that name and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right or wrong, feel right, you know what's up with me, nigga. Never change on my gang, yeah, I'm stuck with my niggas. We untouchable, can run that money up with me, nigga. But when I see it, like, I meant, like, shit, basically, like, we unstoppable at this point. Like, only thing that stop me is fucking jail or death now. Now that I made it, ain't nothing the same, it all changed. When I'm in public, people see me, they screaming my name. Just a few days ago, I was locked up in them chains. Now I'm in back of them, make back with a lot of bands. I ain't worried about them dissing, I don't hear a thing they saying. This for my sons in Montana, can't forget the band. Me changing for the better, it's for my little boys. And I say Montana too, cause Montana give me anything. I got money, but I walk in the mall and still ask Montana to buy me this and he'll buy it. You know what I mean? Like ben, like ben don't go. He, he with me. Forever with me. His, his name in my phone is forever with me with a red heart. I never jeopardize this and lose it all again. This for that North 30, baby. They know I ain't playing. 30 Street is a strip in the North Side. My first game was a 30. From the heart, I appreciate all of my fans. This for Monique for loving me and being my helping hand. Yeah, Monique, that's 3-3 three, three mama. She, she been on me since my grandma died. She just been up for me, like, supporting, like, all the way. She, I think she paid for my first studio sessions. Love is a rare thing that I, I barely, I barely feel loved. I only feel loved when I'm on stage and shit like that. I really... Bruh, this, this man, um, NBA young boy, bro, this, this man has definitely gone through some harsh moments in his life. Like, I could just tell by the lyrics on this song like bruh this the lyrics on this song tell a story like they definitely tell a story did it this my mom's three tray and can't nobody tell me nothing i'm like what you saying <laughs> hey, I... hey look that's the end of the video right there just a little quick video for y'all to tonight basically because it's it's bit it's right now it's 12 in the morning so yeah just a quick video for y'all i'm finna post it right now and then hop in the shower because y'all already know how i am but look y'all might probably saying why the heck you gonna hop in the shower at 12. i don't know bro i don't know bro gotta stay clean y'all already know now nah, what the hell am i saying but look if you guys like this video make sure to thumbs it up subscribe um and let me know down below what y'all want me to react to, I will definitely react to all of your video requests that you let me know down below. I'll definitely get back to you guys and react to all the video requests that you guys left me in this video or in, or in other of my reaction videos. So yeah, bruh, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. It's been your boy on Swag. I'm out.